everybody. This week we're going to be building a rocket stove. Um, one of the main issues that we're getting with this is obviously the temperature <laughs> up here in the UK at the moment is cold. Um, it got down to uh, one degree last night and it is currently about three degrees, so a little bit chilly. This needs to be about 30, 35 degrees. Um, so we've been using um, a pond, pond heater to get it to that temperature, but that's not really sustainable. It costs about a pound a day to run it like that so I feel like doing that for three or four months it's not really worth it. Might as well spend a bit of money on some materials for a rocket heater to heat some water to heat that. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into it. So we've got all our constituent parts here. Um, this is our old chimney, terracotta chimney, um, that was just laying around in the garden. Uh, you can get them online from kind of reclaim the arts and stuff, not that much. All in all, this stuff has cost, if I had to buy that, it's probably gonna cost me a hundred pounds. Um, and now we've got the things to actually make the main parts of the chimney we're going to use some rubble and stuff to make the rest of it so this is a really cost-effective way of doing things. So this is where we're going to build the chimney. The digester is behind me just there just a few meters away. Ideally we'd have it right next to it um, because then we have the, the minimum amount of heat loss between the heater and where the, the heat is needed but because we have the shed here I don't want the stove right next to the shed. Um, this gives us a little bit of a gap. Um, the chimney's got a top on it so we shouldn't get any um, kind of embers flying out the top but just to be safe, we're going to build it here. We've got a pile of rubble here that we're going to use to make the base. Then we have my terracotta chimney, and in for the that's going to be the outer lining of the chimney. Then the inner, kind of the inner actual chimney is going to just literally just going to be tin cans that we're going to obviously take the bottoms out, stack up, and then we'll put the copper, copper tube around that, fill it with sand, and we'll build away. So, this is kind of what it's going to look like. The idea is that these blocks at the, at the sides, hopefully we're going to have enough sand just to fill in all these gaps and this, these blocks are going to hold the sand in. 
Um, so here we'll have our intake. We'll have some blocks setting up all here. This is pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, the coil is going to go up inside, then it will come out and go to over there to the to the digester. Yeah, right. Now, next step is um, we'll sort out the tin cans, um, put them all together, make sure they're the right height, and then the fun step of coiling the copper. Best way to get them to fit together is to just snip the bottom like this. Okay, so that is the right height. It's great, a bit wobbly, but can't stand up, kind of. Okay. Okay, so we've got this copper um, pipe. It's 10 mil, um, and I can actually bend it by hand, even though the temperature is really cold, which is great. So I don't have to use a blowtorch to, uh, to heat it up, and it's looking like it's not going to kink. We just have to do this. Okay, there we go, I've got a coil of copper to go into our chimney. Probably going to end up stretching it a little bit so it goes across the whole length so we can get some sand in between it, get some thermal mass in between each one of these. Um, let's see if we can stretch it out. End, but what we'll probably do is put that at the bottom yeah, where it's going to be the hottest. Get the titrogen at the top, and uh, yeah, let's put it on the chimney. Okay, so this we go. Move this so he's out there, and actually, so we have this top. <coughs> so 
so we're going to put the pipe coming out one of those holes in the top um, and now we just have to do the one at the bottom which is a bit more difficult and then what I'm going to do is remember to hold that apart and fill it with sand essentially I don't, want it, I don't really don't want it touching too much but we'll uh, we'll see how we make it happen okay um, run into a bit of an issue um, these are um, copper, copper to plastic pipe or plastic to plastic pipe uh, reducers so 10 mil which is this to 15 mil um, great on either end nice and sealed this is 15 mil pipe it does not fit on the end so either I missed something well I have missed something obviously um, so some further investigations are needed but the uh, thing this thing is otherwise kind of sorted quite in the centre but So that's it pretty much built, there's some fine tuning to do but that's enough for this video, it's, still, it's already quite long. Um, so as I said we're going to look at connecting these guys up to the actual the water heater, getting a reservoir and then seeing how hot we can get the water um, and see if that's going to be enough to, to heat the digester. So we'll uh, catch you on the next